AWS Top 13 Amazon AWS Interview Questions, Most Asked By Abhimanya Gautam Network Engineer Amazon Web Services Here are Top 13 Objective Type Sample AWS Interview Questions and their answers are given just below to them. Hope you like that. Kindly watch the full video, till end for more information, and subscribe the channel for more update. 1. Compare AWS and OpenStack Two, What is AWS? AWS, Amazon Web Services, is a platform to provide secure cloud services, database storage, offerings to compute power, content delivery, and other services to help business level and develop. 3. What is the importance of buffer in Amazon Web Services? An elastic load balancer ensures that the incoming traffic is distributed optimally across various AWS instances. A buffer will synchronize different components and makes the arrangement additional elastic to a burst of load or traffic. The components are prone to work in an unstable way of receiving and processing the requests. The buffer creates the equilibrium linking various apparatus and crafts them effort at the identical rate to supply more rapid services. For what is the way to secure data for carrying in the cloud? One thing must be ensured that no one should seize the information in the cloud while data is moving from point one to another and also there should not be any leakage with the security key from several storerooms in the cloud. Segregation of information from additional companies' information and then encrypting it by means of approved methods is one of the options. Amazon Web Services offers you a secure way of carrying data in the cloud. Looking to master AWS platform? 5. Name the several layers of cloud computing. Here is the list of layers of the cloud computing. POS, Platform as a Service. IaaS, Infrastructure as a Service. SOS, Software as a Service. 6. What are the components involved in Amazon Web Services? There are four components involved and are as below. Amazon S3, with this, one can retrieve the key information which are occupied in creating cloud structural design and amount of produced information also can be stored in this component that is the consequence of the key specified. Amazon EC2 instance, helpful to run a large distributed system on the Hadoop cluster. Automatic parallelization and job scheduling can be achieved by this component. Amazon SQS, this component acts as a mediator between different controllers. Also worn for cushioning requirements those are obtained by the manager of Amazon. Amazon SimpleDB, helps in storing the transitional position log and the errands executed by the consumers. 7. Distinguish between scalability and flexibility. The aptitude of any scheme to enhance the tasks on hand on its present hardware resources to grip inconsistency in command is known as scalability. The capability of a scheme to augment the tasks on hand on its present and supplementary hardware property is recognized as flexibility, hence enabling the industry to convene command devoid of putting in the infrastructure at all. AWS has several configuration management solutions for AWS scalability, flexibility, availability, and management. 8. Name the various layers of the cloud architecture. There are five layers and are listed below. CC Cluster Controller SC Storage Controller CLC Cloud Controller Walrus NC Node Controller 9. Define Auto Scaling Auto scaling is one of the remarkable features of AWS where it permits you to arrange and robotically stipulation and spin up fresh examples without the requirement for your involvement. This can be achieved by setting brinks and metrics to watch. If those entrances are overcome, a fresh example of your selection will be configured, spun up and copied into the weight planner collection. 10. Which automation gears can help with spin-up services? The API tools can be used for spin-up services and also for the written scripts. Those scripts could be coded in Perl, Bash or other languages of your preference. There is one more option that is patterned administration and stipulating tools such as a dummy or improved descendant. 
A tool called Scalar can also be used and finally we can go with a controlled explanation like a right scale. 11 Is it possible to scale an Amazon instance vertically? How? Yes. This is an incredible characteristic of cloud virtualization and AWS. Spinup is a huge case when compared to the one which you are running with. Let up the instance and separate the root EBS volume from the server and remove. Next, stop your live instance, remove its root volume. Note down the distinctive device ID and attach root volume to your new server and start it again. This is the way to scaling vertically in place. 12 How the processes start, stop, and terminate works? How? Starting and stopping of an instance, if an instance gets stopped or ended, the instance functions a usual power cut and then change over to a clogged position. You can establish the case afterward since all the EBS volumes of Amazon remain attached. If an instance is in stopping state, then you will not get charged for additional instance. Finishing the instance, if an instance gets terminated it tends to perform a typical blackout, so the EBS volumes which are attached will get removed except the volumes delete and termination characteristic is set to zero. In such cases, the instance will get removed and cannot set it up afterward. 13. What is the relation between an instance and AMI? AMI can be elaborated as Amazon machine image, basically, a template consisting software configuration part. For example an OS, applications, application server. If you start an instance, a duplicate of the AMI in a row as an unspoken attendant in the cloud. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Kindly do subscribe the channel for more update.